Hi everyone, I'm back from my trip and I'm still a little bit uh, scattered and all over the place with the laundry and everything that needs to get in place after I wasn't uh, a week here and my in-laws were with the, the kids so it's kind of a mess and so bear with me I want to share with you some of the pages I've done in the notebook that, that I took with me for the trip because I managed to find new techniques to uh, play with regular felt pens that I bought from the cheap store this is from back to school supplies it's cheap it's uh, available <laughs> at any place and it seems like uh, it can be there are many things that can be done with it so this is one of my uh, experiments with my with the felt pens and this one and well here I just uh, collaged um, pieces from brochures and from museums and tickets that I've been in Vienna and this is another one all the background is made with the felt pens and I will show you how to make it same thing here I've showed you uh, this in the last video these are pieces from some some painty paper I had a leftover and I just glued the pieces here and the background again with the felt pens and let's see I've done another one other thing with the felt pens here we go another uh, background with the felt pens so I want to show you how it's done and it's very easy you probably uh, uh, it's with the felt pens and with all this kind of highlighters and uh, markers and you need water also a little bit of water so it's all uh, things that are accessible and cheap so here goes so uh, several things let's start with a background uh, like this or like the where is the tree <laughs> I told you I'm going to be scattered uh, never mind I'll just start showing you how to do it so let's start I'll take several so I can see the colors there is no brand it's just something I picked up at the cheap store you don't even have to uh, color everything you just put some on your page I don't know if I mentioned it on my uh, last video about this travelers notebook I'm always gluing two pages to each other so they will be more sturdy and I will have uh, something to work on uh, when it's only one page it's not enough especially if I want to add a little water to whatever I'm doing going for a rainbow what can be a <laughs> better than a rainbow where is my red no here it is okay let's start with this I've got here a little bit of water on my finger and here we go if you remember when we were kids and we were uh, coloring with the felt pens there will always be something with water that will get on our painting and ruin it so here it doesn't ruin here I'm harnessing it to my advantage here we go first technique 
look at the background and of course by adding more water you can do little more or less water and it will be less uh, uh, looking like uh, watercolors so here is one uh, thing let's see uh, another uh, technique again I'll use the same colors just so you will see how it works of course you can wait for it to dry you can add more if you want it more uh, prominent on your page Here we go. So now comes the highlighter markers and I'm taking here I've got the purple I'm going to take the purple one and I don't know why and how it works I'm not a chemist but it it activates the felt uh, the felt pens and it does a really nice smearing and blending the colors I can get into the blue here and it blends the colors and now I remember I've done another a uh, page like this with this technique and I want to show you how it blends and how it makes beautiful colors so you see I don't know how it works but the markers activate the felt pens and I'm even going in a little bit here in the green and now I'm changing it to and it doesn't have to be any kind of a uh, brand again this is something I picked from the cheap store it's back to school supplies so cheap accessible and you can find it anywhere so you see how I'm blending the colors and I'm going for a green now now you don't have to uh, change the marker uh, in accordance to the felt pen you've put on the page I can take now I still have green uh, here and I can get take a, a yellow and activate it and just make another color and I can go in in several places even in the blue I can activate here the orange if I want it to be a uh, less prominent I will use the yellow if I want it a lot uh, orange then I will activate it with the orange highlighter like so and let's see if I've got another shade of uh, some kind of orange just so you will see here we go if you don't want neon a uh, <laughs> color on your page So as you can see it activates the felt pen that is here. So now let's see, I've got the red, I want to activate it with this yellow. Now if I want it darker I will just go and add more like so and I'm going in here so there will be a blending between the colors you don't have to but 
it really is a nice tool to work with this kind of felt pens and highlighters and how you can uh, blend them although they are just pens or markers whatever you want to call it like so and I can also go back and add more yellow here if I want to because I want it more colorful like so let's see I'm going just to finish this background no I want let's take this going to take a little bit of water and activating all of this and blending so I will have a nice background here we go you can also uh, go over uh, this part that we've I've done with the markers with water and also make it more uh, like the effect here here we go like this so another technique <laughs> here we go I, uh, as I said we are go I want to uh, use the water to my advantage and I, as I, I've showed you in the last video I've taken this with me uh, on my trip so I also used it let's see I'm taking a q-tip it doesn't have to be a q-tip if it can be a little piece of tissue paper you can do it with uh, with your finger like so if I want to remove more tissue paper here we go Let's see, I, I want to find the page I've done, this, so you can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here is the blending with um, <coughs> the highlighters, markers, uh, and it was just playing around with the colors, and that's what I got. And let's see. Here is the technique, not the black, but the before. If you uh, before I put the black and this uh, turquoise, if you can see in the background, I've used water to add more texture to my background. So that's the same thing here. I'm doing. I'm making circles with water, and I can get in again and remove more uh, paint it doesn't have to be circles i can take the q-tip and i can do waves it would be a, a bit more uh, difficult but it can be done <laughs> so the water is removing the paint so it, as you can see you can splatter on your page and remove the excess like so and I'll bring it close to the camera in a minute so you can see how it affects the background it, it's adding more interest and texture to your background here we go I hope you can see here how it removed the color and made more interesting background 
so uh, this is uh, one of the things and another thing I wanted to show you in my in the last uh, video I've showed you how to take little uh, stamps like this one on your trip and how to use the acetate as an ink pad and now I've done it in another way I don't need the acetate I've I'm taking a felt pen going over my stamp like this so I also so have lots and lots of colors from my felt pens and here we go I've got a print cleaning it here let's see another felt pen so basically you have ink pads <laughs> at your demand whatever color you want here we go cleaning it let's do another one just for the fun of it <laughs> what color do I want let's go with this one Here we go so that's my techniques all done with things that you can take on your trip and buy cheaply and can be found anywhere in back to school supplies nothing is <coughs> branded or expensive so I hope you experiment and do wonderful things with it uh, thank you for watching thank you for uh, leaving me comments and I'll be seeing you in my next video Bye for now.